Continuing this series, and we're working with Blender 2.60, although if you're working with 2.5 or other versions of 2.6, things should be pretty similar. If something doesn't work, it may be because you're running a different version, so look into that if you're having issues. Um, we're going to learn how to add an object with a script today. So I'm going to change this to our text editor, create a new text, and turn on the formatting, and we'll call this add obj for add object. I'm going to import the Blender Game Engine module. And in the past, we were trying to affect the object that the script was running. This time we're going to be working with the scene, the current scene that we're in. So we're going to create an object, we'll call it scene. We're going to say it equals the Blender Game Engine dot logic dot get current scene. And that is all case sensitive, so capital S and capital C there. Um, and now, uh, in the past, uh, I was showing you how to create the controller and then uh, create the owner of that. We can actually do that all in one step. So in this case, I'm going to say owner. I'm of course, spell it right. And you know what? This doesn't have to be this. Hopefully, you're familiar with Python before you start jumping into this. You have the basics of Python. Basically, what we're creating here are objects. Uh, and uh, we can call them within reason whatever we want. So we don't have to call that owner. In, this in fact, in this case, I'm going to call it ob for object. And we're going to say that's the blender.logic.getCurrentController. And as I said in the past tutorials, we create a controller object and then create the owner of that controller, we can actually do that all in one step, like so. Doesn't really matter uh, in this situation. It may matter in other situations in case you, in some cases, you need to grab information from the controller, not just the owner. But if you don't need that, you can just jump ahead like that. Saves you a line of code. Now we're going to create another object, and this is going to be the object that we're going to be adding. So we're going to say ob1, so object1 in this case, and we'll say we're going to use that scene object we created, and we're going to say dot add object, and then we're going to give it a string, and we're going to leave that empty for right now, and then we're going to say ob, the, and the ob, it's going to be uh, using this object um, as its base location. I may do another tutorial, I'll probably do another tutorial after this going over that a little more in depth. But right now, we're looking at this object and we're going to create a new object right where that object is. But really, we're not creating, we're adding an object. So let's go to another scene here, or I'm sorry, another layer here, clicking right there. I'm going to hit spacebar and type in sphere. And I'm going to add a UV sphere. So there's UV sphere. I'm going to scale it up just a little bit so it's a little bit bigger. And uh, that sphere currently is called sphere. If you look right here, you can see that. You can also look up here in the uh, scene. What's this called? This is called the outliner. Scene outliner. It's called sphere. Now you can rename it. You can double click there and rename it. We'll just leave it as sphere though. And each object has its own name and that's how we know what to put in here. If we want to add that sphere, we're going to type sphere here. Remember it is case sensitive. There's a capital S in this sphere. So capital S down here in our script. We'll go back to our first layer and we're going to now link this cube to this script that we just created. So I'm going to go to our logic editor. Let's control up arrow while hovering the cursor over that to make this full screen. We're going to add a sensor. I'll make it a keyboard. I'll just press here and press the space bar. So now when the space bar is pressed, it's going to run our script. Connect this here. Control down arrow to get out of full screen mode there. And if we come back up here, hover our cursor over to the 3D view and press P, we now hit space bar and nothing happens. Not really sure why, but that's why we start Blender up in the terminal when we're uh, running this way. So it says, uh, it says the game engine started. Okay, this, this other information is actually up here from when I practiced this before I did the tutorial because I wanted to make sure it worked. Um, let's see, dee 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 dee. What am I missing? Looking at my notes. 
Let's do this. Let's go. Just so we know when the script runs, I'm going to say print. Inside parentheses, inside quotations, I'm going to print test. Real big. So I can see that in the terminal, and I can look for anything after that that might be this or that. So let's go ahead and run this script or run the game again. Hit spacebar. Nothing's happening over in the terminal here, meaning my script is not running. And I'm not really sure why at this point. <laughs> okay, okay, I figured it out. Simple mistake. Uh, I don't have the cube selected. We add this to the sphere, which is on another layer. Let's just remove this. Choose the cube to make sure you have the correct item chose. Chose? Chosen. And then we're going to link the script to that. Sorry for that little confusion. But a good thing I made that mistake so that in the future, spacebar, if you make that same mistake, maybe you'll realize it. Of course, that's not the first time I've done that. Make sure you have the right object selected. So now we have that link to this script down here. Really don't need these test prints anymore, but I'll leave them in for right now. Let's see. P spacebar. Hey, we got the sphere. And actually, um, it's adding, I've hit spacebar a few times now, and uh, you only see one sphere, that's because they're all going to the exact same position. So how can we see that there's multiple spheres? Well, real quick here, I'm going to go back to this sphere, and I'm going to create a new script here. So I'm going to hit this little plus button, I'll just call it move, and uh, I'm going to use a script from an earlier video, I'm going to say import. On a game engine, I'm going to say controller equals Blender game engine dot logic dot get current controller. And really, as I said, we could probably even skip that and say owner. Let's see if this works, if I was right saying that earlier. It did earlier, so I would think it would. So now I can say owner, which is our sphere object, local position with a capital P, I'll set a capital S, dot Z plus equals 0 0.1. So now with the sphere selected, this time we do want the sphere selected, we're going to say always. I'm going to say pulse mode, we're going to say script, and we're going to choose our move script. Link these here, press P, and our sphere goes up. Kind of look uh, kind of grayed out there, that's because there's no lighting source on this layer. We'll go back to this layer now, if we start this up and press spacebar, you can see that when I press the spacebar, we create new objects. Now, if I want it to continuously shoot, and currently it's running the script twice, once when I press the button, uh, the key down, and once when I let go. But if I hold down pulse mode here, I can now press P and hold down the key, and you can see I can shoot a whole bunch of those. It almost looks like it's growing, but it's actually just adding a whole bunch of spheres as the one that was just added moves up. So I'll save this Blender file, I'll save this script, and I will post them both online. Check out the links in the description for those files. Um, also check out filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon uh, to help support this site. And I hope that you have a great day. Forward slash Amazon. Help support the site, dude. Yeah.